All right, we have to get to more breaking news we're following tonight. We just got new surveillance video from WMATA showing the moment a metro train derailed in Northern Virginia earlier today. This isn't the first time it's happened in that area either. Thankfully, no one was hurt in this incident. So in the next few minutes, we'll walk you through three things. The immediate impact to metro riders, what's being done to keep people safe in the future, and how this happened again. We have two crews looking into these different angles for you tonight, but I want to begin with our Matthew Torres in Arlington for a look at how metro leaders and riders are reacting. Tonight, new video of another metro train derailment. WMATA releasing edited footage of a blue line train hitting an object on the tracks around 11 a.m. as it was heading south from DCA to Springfield. That train hit an object, and when it hit that object, that train started weaving, and that's and then it came. One of the wheels came off the track. It appears the object, 20 inches in diameter, came from an earlier train belonging to the older 3000 series fleet. The object was a component of a 3000 series train. That, that preceded the incident train through the station. That it looks like could be potentially part of like some type of brake assembly. But WMATA CEO Randy Clark says this item should not affect the braking system for that entire train. The train that hit the object is from the 7000 series fleet. The same fleet Metro removed two years ago after a different derailment in Arlington. An investigation then found defects with the wheels. When we rolled up on the scene and seeing a 7000 series train with the history, uh, I think we are feeling uh, cautiously optimistic that we do not have a 7000 series fleet issue uh, like we had two years ago and that we have uh, another challenge that we're going to be doing a little work uh, looking to. A train derailment, man, it's, it's unfortunate. Nearly 50 passengers on board forced to get out and take a shuttle. No one was hurt, but suspending service until the next metro stop gave other riders no option but to take shuttles, including this father and his two little girls. Unfortunate, I mean, it's traffic, timing's off. I mean, we got places to go, people to see. Tonight, Clark says they're conducting an inspection of about 25% of the 3000 and 2000 series trains until at least Saturday morning. Right now, they're being rotated through for a visual inspection. Generally speaking, we think that should cover it because it's a wheel assembly on the outside of the train. Uh, we're also doing a records check, so anything that doesn't seem right, uh, over the next week, everyone will go into the shop and get a, a more comprehensive review as well. Metro says it's also inspecting that same blue line route to make sure everything is clear. It's still unclear exactly when this part of the train tracks will open, but we know there is single tracking service from Potomac Yard till the Pentagon City Metro stop. I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.